Magnus Carlsen playing for the SG Alpine Warriors takes on Jan Sistoff Duda. Magnus has the white pieces and opens the game with 1 e4. Duda plays the Sicilian for the Chingari Gulf Titans. He wants to win. He wants to beat Magnus Carlsen, but Magnus goes knight c3. He doesn't go for the open Sicilian just as yet. Knight f6 and an even more interesting choice by bishop e2. He wants to take Duda out of his prep. Knight comes out to c6 and now Magnus plays d4. Well, there are a lot of transpositions in the Sicilian and Magnus has avoided some of Duda's options. Nidorf being one of them. Pawn up to e5 and the knight comes back to f3. Now Duda stops bishop g5 ideas because the d5 square is a little weak. And the knight is controlling that square so he doesn't want it to get pinned. Bishop e7 played and I like this little move rook e1. The idea often is to put your bishop back and the rook defends the pawn. Black castles it out. Very normal natural position here in the Sicilian. Bishop g4 is one of the main moves here. But rook e8 played by Duda. Not the best but it's a very logical move. H3, Magnus stops bishop g4 ideas in the position. Bishop drops back to f8. And now you can play b3, which is what Magnus does. Very interesting way of developing the bishop. But also later on, when you play on knight to d5 and pawn takes, you can connect the pawns with c4. Magnus finishes his development. You can actually learn from him how to play these positions slowly you know get your rook drop your bishop drop, develop your other bishop and so on b5 played by duda queen d2 connecting the rooks and maybe now a good option is to put your knight on e7 control the d5 square but he goes bishop b7 and actually this allows magnus to fight for an advantage knight d5 beautiful move there and actually Magnus was waiting for the bishop to come here before he plays the knight. And the reason for it is that now with the pawn here, the bishop is blocked on this diagonal. Duda goes back, Magnus connects the pawn with c4, queen comes out to d7. And in order to break this structure, Magnus hits it with a4. Fantastic chess. Pawn takes, pawn takes. Now if the knight could have reached this square black was doing completely fine but the knight is far away from it and magnus plays a5 to fix this structure duda brings the rook tries to put pressure on the c4 pawn but look at how magnus plays first bishop a3 keeping an eye on the d6 pawn maybe c5 at some point duda starts to gain counterplay he says i'm going to push my pawn now bring my knight in because i want to attack here and now Magnus, you have to defend it. So Magnus defends that pawn. And Duda actually moves in with his queen, attacking the bishop as well as the pawn. But Magnus staying calm. He has more space. Duda is attacking him, but he's playing this calmly. Pawn takes. You can't take the pawn. Your bishop is hanging. Have to be careful. So Magnus keeps the rooks. And now this pawn is defended with his other rook. This is actually very intricate play by Magnus Carlsen. Rook c7. Now the idea is to double down the c-file and put pressure on c4. So Magnus goes knight f5. He wants to put his knight on e3. Defend this. Kick the queen off and then win this pawn. Bishop goes back to c8 attacking the knight. The knight comes back. Defends the pawn and a sacrifice. Now, if you take with the queen, your bishop is hanging. If you take with the pawn, he wants to go bishop f5 and defend this pawn. But Magnus plays this intermediate move. Brilliant chess. He wants the queen not to attack this. And then later on, he can pick this up. Queen b3 comes in. But now you can actually attack it again. That's what Magnus does. Brilliant chess. He found that intermezzo so quickly. Queen takes c4. And now the queen comes up. And Magnus Carlsen is completely winning. He's an exchange up and he's doing so well in the position. Bishop f5, Duda wants to support this pawn. But 
he is a pawn down he's an exchange down and now rook c1 great move are you going to lose more material well duda has seen this coming takes here and takes on d1 magnus moves his king up his king his rook is now very active attacking the black king duda plays queen b3 he still has some chances still this pawn on d3 is alive but Magnus is going to play this very carefully. He first goes queen d4. He sees that the pawn is not moving forward. You go queen a4, pinning here. And now rook a7. This pawn is hanging. Duda plays his bishop back. And now you could take this pawn. It's possible. But Magnus goes rook a8. The queen comes back. And how do you finish this off? Queen b6 played. He's now looking at this pawn on d6 because this is a pin. And Duda moves his queen up. But look at this move. Rook takes f8. Magnus finds it if you take with the king. Queen d8 is a checkmate. You can't take it. And you can see that Duda is very upset with himself. But the position was already lost. King h7. Queen comes back on the board and Duda resigns brilliant play by Magnus Carlsen I would say it was a flawless game by the world number one